Hey there! We just released five new models, and I am so excited to play with them. Five new text generation models are now available on Cloudflare's Workers AI platform. And I, if you're like me, you're probably like, that's great, those are awesome sounding models. I've never played with those models before. How do I, how do I know if that model is right for me? How do I choose from those models? And that's a feeling that we're all getting, right? There's so many awesome models coming out. We never quite really get the chance to play with them. Uh, so here's the thing. I was thinking, this is very common to a problem that we have where there's like lots of people that are out there. And the way that we solve that is we do speed dating. So we go and we ask some questions, we get to know the person. What if we could do that with these models? So I built a little playful Jupyter notebook that does just that. If you haven't had a Jupyter notebook before, this is running Python. So it'll go, it'll run these cells. We're gonna get them some things set up here. You gotta get your Cloudflare account ID and there's an API token that you'll wanna do. But I'm gonna come down here. This is the, this is the meat of the speed dating app that we're gonna build here. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run to this really quick. So I'm gonna run up to this uh, selected cell here. It's gonna go, it's gonna um, uh, run, and you'll see uh, a number will show up here uh, when, when it has reached here. So now it's run. So now this speed date is available in all the cells below, right? So everything that we've done so far is available below. So I also, right, I pulled out the API token and the account ID, and that's where that's coming from. Um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna pass in a name, a list of models, right? We're always adding models. You can add additional models here if you want to. And you're gonna pass in a list of questions. And what's gonna happen is for each one of those models, it's going to ask the question and uh, it's going to uh, go ahead and it's going to hit our API. You could definitely build this inside of a uh, worker's application, uh, a ser our serverless platform, but you can also hit this from an API, which is what I'm going to do. And the API takes the account ID that we got, and it also takes the model name, which we're going to be passing in, right? We're going to loop through for each one of these. Now, the nice thing about this is they all have the same interface, right? So all these new models that we introduce have the same interface, which means I can do something like this. I can run the same query against that model. Very specifically, the system message that I'm going to ask, I'm going to say, you are a self-aware language model, and this is your name, your, whatever your name is, who is honest and direct about any question from the user, which is what you want in a speed dating situation, right? You want to get the truth about what's happening. And it says, you know your strengths and weaknesses, which was very nice to know about. And then we're going to take that question and we're going to pass it through into this part. Uh, and then we're going to do some timing. Now, the thing to remember is that this timing is for full completion. So you might see some long timing, but I want you to remember that every single a, uh, text model that we have, every single text generation model supports streaming, which uh, means that, in fact, it, before we even get going, let's let's do that. Let, let me show you that. So, so the timing here is specific to the entire completion, but remember that all text generation models support streaming. So I'm going to link to our docs here. So in the docs, there's this great explanation about how you do that. You pass stream equals true, right? So if I was side of one of our serverless apps, this is what it looks like, but it also has it on the REST API, right? So we can also pass stream equals true. And what happens is it returns this response with these, these different chunks. So you get one at a time, right? So it's a event stream uh, thing. So those are possible. That is not what we're doing here in, in this because we wanted to kind of answer each question at a time. So we're getting to know these models. Um, these are the five that came out today, but again, if there's new models, because there's always going to be new models, we're gonna be launching them. You can come back to this notebook and add the models there uh, that you wanna test. Because maybe you've tested some of these, you can take get rid of them, and maybe you haven't, and you want to add them in here. All right, so I think the most two important questions when you, we are speed dating here is what are the top three tasks where you excel? And of course, please keep things brief. We don't want it to be too long. And then what are the top three ideal use cases? Now, the reason why I do that, now I'm gonna do uh, uh, option enter here. I'm gonna run that. And uh, so it's gonna ask this first, it's gonna ask it to Zephyr, and it came back with accurate, quick factual response, consistent performance, multitasking, and it tells you how long it took. Okay, so you can come here and you kind of read through each one of them. So here's the ideal use cases, accurate fact finding, writing assistance, language learning. Uh, we've got text classification here from Mistral, uh, language understanding and generation. Uh, it's kind of jumping around here, but scrollable, right? We're gonna go look through all of these models here. Uh, creative writing assistance, that's great. Um, we can do uh, language translations, right? We see we see that sort of stuff. Um, uh, conversational AI, great. That's great for a chat bot. And you can see that some of these are coming across really, really fast, uh, which is important. Cool. What I've done is we are, are now have uh, Llama 2, the 13B out here. And again, remember that this might seem like this is a long time, but remember it's going a token at a time when we do the streaming. Uh, very quick, very fast, uh, very powerful. You can see that it has good... Uh, it, it's very chatty here. So this is a great chatbot one. So 13B, we're excited about that. All right. So 
we're going to look at language translation because some models said that they were good at language translation. So we're going to take a look at that. Uh, very specifically, uh, Neural Chat and Mistral 7B, I did when I asked about it. Uh, but you can change whatever you want in here. Now, these are, all, of course, are going to be different, right? So you can do uh, translation or localization. And so we've got some phrases here. Uh, and we've got some languages, so so different languages. I thought it'd be fun to do Spanish and French. And then, of course, you know, like we can do some slang. We're going to do British slang or a heavy New York accent from the Bronx. And uh, I'm going to just speed date. So I'm going to give it those models, the, the, these two models, and we're going to give it all of those questions. I did some Python generating here, which is what a beautiful language, right? Uh, we're going <laughs> to we're going to run those and uh, it's going to ask. And you can see that it's coming back pretty, pretty quick. And there are models that are specific for this that we also have, but you can use these as well. Um, let's see. We got British slang here. Where, where's the Where's this British slang? Uh, I just want to say appreciate you just the way you are. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, killer and rad as genial looks like in in Spanish. So fun stuff. Please change this to be what you need it to be, right? Because uh, the, the, you probably don't need that. But if you wanted to, you say, pardon me, which way to the restroom? If you wanted that for a script that you were doing, that might be the right thing that you're looking for. Anyway, creative, generative uh, text, uh, translation and localization is something that's possible if that's what you need. If Definitely, if they said it, I would. I think it's worth looking at, right? It's worth, it's worth hearing them out. So next, we have this uh, information retrieval and summarization, which... Uh, most models are uh, capable of, but these are the ones who said that they were very good at it, right? So we said the top three uh, things there. So these are the proud summarizers here. And I thought one of the best ways uh, to do summarization and kind of information retrieval is to ask it about books. Now I said, summarize the book into a few sentences and ensure to include the author and the year it was published because I want to make sure that it's not hallucinating. And I tried to use so some books that it might not know uh, uh, here, uh, but... It turns out I'm not able to stump it. So um, uh, the book, Make It Stick in a Few Sentences, great book if you haven't read it, by the way. It's about learning. Um, uh, and it's got it, right? So it's got it It's got it from 2014. It came across. So this is from Llama 2, uh, 13B. Really good summarization. A uh, satire of science fiction tropes for Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Also a great book if you hadn't read it. Good Night Moon, uh, a book that I've read maybe 15,000 times to my kids. So uh, again... Uh, nice, really nice uh, reference there. And you'll see that these are coming back very fast, right? So neural chat is coming back really fast. It does know about it. It's not hallucinating. Uh, maybe that is what you need. Maybe you want a really quick summarization like that. And you can see uh, uh, how that's working. If that's what you're looking for, right? Uh, you can kind of feel the models differently, right? So this is important, right? If we were sitting down and we were speed dating, you could feel the model and how it's going. Please play with this. Play with what you can summarize, what sort of text that you want to do. And then, of course, uh, content creation was one that most of these models talked about that they were they were good at uh, doing. Uh, I've got three questions here. A fictional story set in the near future, a star-crossed lovers, the name for the lead characters, and give me your most creative suggestion. Just trying to kind of ramble and see what happens. Only one, please, because it, it will uh, try to really please you, right? Uh, a new tech product that helps keep cables arranged. Uh, title and tagline. Very, very possible marketing use case there, right? Only your best suggestion, please. And uh, how about a headline for a blog of why we should use you specifically uh, for that? Keep it succinct, but make your point. All right, awesome. So uh, we're gonna give that the prompt. It's gonna run, how about Echo and Echo? Wow, Echo's outgoing and adventurous, I love it. Ooh, that went a little bit off the rails here. So, so Mistral gave me more than one. Cable master, cable keeper, cable genius. Keep your cords under control and stay productive with cable genius. Love it. Why choose Mistral 7B, the honest and direct language model for all your needs? Wow, great. It's selling itself up. Zephyr is super creative. Uh, DNA with Abba and Kian. They must keep the relationship a secret. I, I want to read this book already. This, this is feeling good. <laughs> uh, definitely something to play with, right? The in inspiration. So Zephyr and the, who do we have here? Uh, oh, Llama 2. Great. Llama 2. Uh, so it's it's really talking about itself. Oh, it's it's overselling on some of these things, but it's handy. It's some of that stuff's handy. Didn't follow my instructions exactly, right? Honest, direct, and unparalleled insights. It's the language model of choice. Wow, great great headline there. Uh, and of course, oversold itself a little bit more too here. Uh, excellent. So fun to play with. Uh, go in there, see if how that feels. Right? Does that feel like what it is that you're trying to build? And again, new models coming here. Give it a shot. Um, 
uh, uh, specific to text classification, right? So we do already uh, provide that. So if you could click here, you can go look at what models that we have that already do text classification. Uh, but these specifically called that out, right? So they, they called that out. So what we're going to do is uh, uh, th both of these are misterals. So uh, this one's open Hermes, which is great. Uh, you should check this out. I classify the text into neutral, negative, or positive. Here's the text. And I want you to see the sentiment. And we're going to say, wow, there's a ton of text generation models available on Cloudflare Workers AI. Totally a comment that I just said. <laughs> uh, sometimes choosing things is hard. Uh, and I can't wait to build. I'm excited about that. The challenging thing about native open source models is that they're all configured a little bit differently. But thankfully, Cloudflare AI Workers has made a standard interface that gets me reliable, low latency inference. And it's so quick, too. So I'm going to go and I'm going to run these. Uh, we're going to be build each one of these. We'll do uh, sentiment questions for those two. Uh, see what happens here. Uh, coming back very fast. Uh, it's positive, positive, right? Uh, neutral on on these. So so awesome. So we are running. Uh, this is a fun way to do it. Please check out all of those models and find the one that's right for you. And I hope that you are uh, like I am, starting to build all sorts of this stuff into your apps. And maybe you'll find. One of these models works great for one of your use cases, but you need another one. So remember, there's streaming. Uh, the timing on this should give you a nice uh, feeling for it. Uh, and we can't wait to see what you build with all of these new models uh, that we brought out there for you. See you soon.